The Volkswagen Group has said it will produce 75 different electric car models within the next four years. Well, yeah, that is a nightmare of epic proportions, which now has become so incredibly unlikely and so likely to sink this company into the quagmire of bankruptcy that I predict there is zero chance of that happening and zero chance that this company has a snowball's chance in hell of passing Tesla, let alone ever even making a profit selling a single electric car. Volkswagen just recalled 10,000 ID3 and ID4 electric vehicles for significant battery problems. I believe that recall will grow to every single ID3 and ID4 ever produced. I have pretty good reasoning for believing that recall is going to be far worse than we believe. Remember, what just happened to the Bolt, GM Bolt, EV and EUV? The recall applied to all cars. It cost General Motors more than $1.2 billion. A massive epic failure in terms of the marketing of their electric cars. Same thing has just happened to Volkswagen. And now, to add insult to injury, this is the same company the media is telling you, is trying to convince you to believe will overtake Tesla in electric vehicle sales within the space of less than two years. They're going to do this. They're saying, the media is saying in 2024, not even 2025, 2024. And yet, now, their new electric cars won't be released for at least an additional 12 months because, well, software can't work it out. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Great to have you here. Thanks for tuning in. And I'm going to point you all back to a video I made recently where I said that Volkswagen, I made some claims that Volkswagen are hoping that their joint venture, call it a joint venture, but the truth is they just picked the best software company they could find that was available in China put in $2.4 billion into that company. That's not Australian dollars, by the way, for you Aussies. That's US dollars, $2.4 billion, hoping that this company can bail them out and create the software their cars need to actually work. This is not me making this up. This is just completely open information anyone can find if they want it. This is the same car company, right? They spent $10 billion on recalls, way more than any other company. In fact, more than... General Motors and Ford combined in 2020 on recalls. Now they're having to do the same thing, recalling their vehicles. Now remember, all their vehicles, well, not all of them, but most of them use LG Chem's batteries. How long do you think it's going to be before they have to recall every single one of those? I would say, based on the history of LG Chem batteries, it's only a matter of time statistically. Statistically, if you do the numbers, any, pretty much any statistical analysis will tell you that at some point in time, every one of those battery packs will have to be recalled because that's pretty much what every manufacturer is having to do, right? At some point in time, I'm not saying it's only tomorrow, but at some point in time, how much is it gonna, that going to cost the company? Well, now Volkswagen and Porsche are saying their new EVs, well, um, they don't know when they're going to come out. And you know what? The thing is, they were saying this, the same stuff about ID3 and ID4 cars when they were sitting in some massive parking lot. There was like 20,000 of them sitting there for months because they couldn't get the software to work. And they still can't in their new models. The new models, you would think, right, they would have the software figured out, but they don't. You can't tell me or anyone with any sensible brains in their head that are actually working at any remote level, even like the mentally challenged, let's be frank, even they wouldn't believe that this car company is going to overtake Tesla in terms of vehicle sales, in terms of electric vehicle sales in 2024. I mean, that is just pure hyperbolic media-driven nonsense that probably should be prosecuted. This is the kind of stuff where, be honest, I mean, what matters more? A few tweets from Elon saying stuff? I mean, does that matter more or does it matter when companies like General Motors and Volkswagen blatantly lie about their electric vehicle delivery numbers in the future, they know internally they're not going to achieve these fantastical results they say they're going to achieve. They know their internal programs, what's happening in their internal programs, and yet they tell the public, they tell the media, no, 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 we're on track to do this amazing stuff. We're on track to do X, Y, Z. And I've reported to you guys what companies are saying they're going to do, right? 
And then what, three years later, the media doesn't hold them to account for what they actually do do when it's an entirely different thing altogether. It's entirely different, right? The media doesn't care about investigative journalism. They don't care about putting two and two together. They're just like, oh, here you go. Here's the latest soundbite, right? Here's the truth. Here's what's happening at Volkswagen. Porsche has confirmed that it's all new electric Porsche Macan. By the way, Porsche sales are down 30% worldwide in the past quarter, the last three months, down 30%. What's going on there? Anyhow, the latest Porsche electric Macan has been delayed to 2024. And in July, sources told Germany's Automobile Woche, I don't know how you pronounce that, sorry guys, that the electric Macan and its PPE platform system model, the Audi Q6 e-tron, risk being delayed by about a year because Volkswagen Group's carrier division is behind in developing advanced new software, leading to their um, 2.4 billion hopeful, hopeful Please come and help us, you guys in China. I mean, why else do you think they invested 2.4 billion there? Because they can't figure out the software themselves, hoping someone else can do it for them. Porsche has confirmed the delay in the share prospectus issued as part of its IPO last month, where it noted the deliveries of the Macan EV are going to begin in 2024. They hope. The group is currently developing together with Cariad and Audi the E3 1.2 platform for deployment in the all-electric Macan BEV which the group plans to begin delivering in 2024, in part due to delays at Cariad and the group in developing the E3 1.2 platform, the group has already had to delay the start of production of the Macan EV. Worryingly, says Inside EVs, the automaker warns in the prospectus that since the E3 1.2 software platform is still under active development, a risk remains that the group will not achieve its existing cycle plan for new vehicles on schedule, in particular electric vehicle models of the 718 and Cayenne. If a risk remains, if they're saying that, it means it's not going to happen. That ship has most unquestionably sailed far into the horizon. Porsche notes that the successful development of the E3 1.2 platform and the start of production and launch of the Macan EV are prerequisites for the continued development of further vehicle launches in the coming years, which are also expected to rely on this software platform. In the prospectus, Porsche expressed concerns that delays or difficulties in the development of the E3 1.2 platform could be further exacerbated by the fact that Cariad is currently developing a separate E3 2.0 version of its platform in parallel. Should Cariad potentially allocate greater development capacity and resources to the new platform instead of further developing the E3 1.2 platform, it could force the group to rely more on its own efforts and expertise to seek support or seek support from other third-party developers. There you go, tacit admission. They're seeking support from other third-party developers, thus their JV, so-called JV. They're buying into a company in China to help them figure out how to do software in EVs. This is the world's biggest car company that claim right, that they can produce vehicles on mass, electric vehicles on mass. And there's YouTube channels, right, where people have bought their EVs, at ID4, ID3, and say the software sucks balls. It's bad. And it's a key reason that they don't like the cars. And Volkswagen has had numerous issues with this software. They cannot figure it out. They cannot sort it out. Let's be fair. That's the truth. The Macan EV will be one of the first production models to use the premium platform electric PPE co-developed by Audi and Porsche. It will use a similar 800 volt electrical system to the Taycan with improvements in range and DC fast charging at up to 270 kilowatts. The battery electric Macan is scheduled to enter production before the end of 2023 at Porsche's plant in Leipzig, where the current ICE model is now made. So far, Audi has not confirmed a delay of the Q6 e-tron, but it's inevitable that they will. So Volkswagen fired Herbert Diess, they claim because he couldn't figure out software in the EVs. They can't figure it out either now that he's gone. Maybe he's not really the guy who was at fault. I don't know. But Volkswagen has so many issues with EVs right now. Battery recalls, can't figure out how to use the software. Owners having nightmarish issues with the software. There is literally zero chance in hell that this will be the biggest electric car company in the world within the next three, four, five, six, seven, fifty thousand millennial years. It's just not going to happen. For those who believe it is, I'm sorry. That is just purely fanciful, emotional rhetoric. It's not based in logic in any possible way. How do we know that? Well, we know Volkswagen doesn't make a profit selling EVs. They're investing billions of dollars. They just spent another 2.4 billion, right? 
For what purpose? Tell me what purpose. Tell me what they're going to get out of that. You can clearly see what they're getting out of that. They're hoping that someone else can do the software for them because they still can't work it out. That's the only possible reason they would have made that joint venture, right? This is an unmitigated disaster from the world's first or second biggest car company, depending on what year, you know, Toyota and Volkswagen, the two biggest car companies in the world. The thing is, it's not like this is some company who has just like Apple. They're not sitting around with billions of dollars of cash that they can just burn because they feel like it. This is a car company that is the second most indebted company in the world, second only to Toyota. You know what? Toyota and them, they kind of neck and neck in terms of debt. Depending on the year, you could say this is the most indebted car company. Depending on how the way you look at their finances, you could say this is the most indebted company, not just car company, in the world. Now, people are saying as a result of these news reports, here's one of the popular comments I'll share with you. Volkswagen Group needs to either hire better software engineers or more likely find better people to manage their software development group. I really think a Macan EV with similar tech as the Taycan and 250 mile plus range would be a higher volume seller for Porsche. Everyone wants an electric crossover these days. You know what? They should just go and find better software engineers. Do you not think they've tried to do that? <laughs> do you not think they've just spent the last five years trying to do that? It's not that simple. Clearly, it's not that easy. Now, the thing is, they're now basically hiring the Chinese to fix their software for them. That's that's their $2.4 billion bailout. They're hoping will fix all these issues with their electric cars, with their rollout. But the thing is, even if they do fix it, which I'm sure they will eventually, but who knows when that's going to be. I'm sure they'll eventually fix it. How do they fix their biggest problem? By far their biggest problem. It's not the batteries. The batteries are a, a challenge. It's going to cost them billions of dollars. It's guaranteed that General Motors, right? The same thing will happen to Volkswagen. It's already happening now. It's in the process, right? So that's a problem. But all of that is is small change in comparison to their biggest problem. That, that is automation. That is how long it takes them and how much it costs them to build an EV. It, co- it takes them three times longer to build an EV than Tesla. And they said that themselves. They said it takes them 30 hours and Tesla 10 hours. They've said that their automation is at below 20% and Tesla's is at 70%. And that is why it's so expensive. It takes them so long to build an electric car. How exactly are they going to sell and build millions of EVs at a profit? Where's their plan? Tell me where the plan is on how they will actually achieve that. Now, they've just wasted another $2.4 billion. They've wasted the last few years developing software that doesn't work. Honestly, the media is telling you with a straight face, you should invest in this company. You should invest in Porsche's new IPO. You should invest in Volkswagen. They're going to be beating Tesla in two years. This is the most ridiculous, utterly nonsensical garbage I've ever heard. And the fact that anyone takes the mainstream media's comments seriously is ridiculous. Please, in the Facebook group on Electric Viking, stop posting anything from the media talking about Volkswagen, General Motors. They have no idea what they're talking about. And it's frankly just embarrassing. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.